Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got something new coming in. Um, you know, if you watched my video on the Benchman series, um, I've done some machining on that since that uh, video, and I've determined that I needed more Z-axis. So I've sold that machine to a, a person that actually really uses that type of machine for the type of work he does. He actually owns like 12 of these machines. So I was able to sell it to him. He was quite happy. So anyways, I've made some cleanup, making space. I got rid of the old green monster that I had for over 20 years. It was CNC and then uh, back to manual with DRO. I just didn't use it. So it's out of here. Um, I had my CNC router. I have a buddy of mine um, that can use it. So I'm selling it to him. So I'm making room. I have a new Tormach 770 coming. So... This video is going to be based on the new Tormop. So I got the tractor out here and ready to go to start unloading the pallets when they get here. So we'll start this up when the truck arrives. All right, boys and girls, it's here. So time to unload, we'll be back. All done. Thanks to Dayton Freight. The delivery guy was great. He helped out a whole bunch. I uh, was able to pull in here and we were able to use the uh, lift gate to do most of the work. I had brought my tractor up. We still had to move the machine because the way the pallet blocks are, his pallet jack wouldn't fit underneath it. So he was able to wedge it under there to spin it around. But anyway, got three pallets worth of stuff. So now it's time to start unboxing. All right, kid in the candy store here. I got the crates off the machine and the stand. We need to get the stand in position and then get the machine lifted and put on after whatever assembly needs to be done for the stand. I'm trying to get this done today because I have to, the service people have to pick up my tractor to do some service on it, but I wouldn't let them take it until I got the machine set and I need that to lift this up. All right, a little update. Um, we got the uh, machine mounted to the stand and the chip trays in so i'm now starting to take all the enclosure parts and unwrap them um, i ended up opting to get the uh, operator console um, the instructions for it or you know they tell you to kind of possibly set it up being i don't have the atc right now um, so i have to go ahead and assemble this right here i decided to hold off and do the operator console once that's ready to a little bit closer together but there's the operator console got a few little items still unpackaged but for the most part that is the machine setting up it's looking nice all right little update I said it's only been seconds for you um we got the enclosure on yesterday it's a new day um got all the windows in the door slides in which are very nice um linear rails on the on the uh doors is, is an excellent touch um got the windows in um, the lights are mounted i really like those lights while wow, those things should should be beasts for being able to see in there um i did have a shortage of hardware um, i've already contacted tormach see how the response is and then also my other little thing which is not a big deal for some people um the stickers you can see the R is all crooked and it's peeled off in the back back there. Um, I think in the factory that there was oil. There is oil on the whole back. Everything's got oil on it. So I'm kind of curious if either the oil is leached under the stickers or the stickers were put on top of oil. Um, you literally, I just touched the R and it just slid like that. So uh, I've contacted Tormach to see about getting some new stickers. And then I'll have to clear it, clean all this all up, and then put the new stickers on. But I had put it when I had put the lifting fixture on uh, to rig this thing into the machine onto the stand. I put a towel in between the chain that comes down to make sure that nothing would rub or anything like that. And this one's okay; it seems to be all right. But literally, these just rubbed right off. So um, hopefully, they can take care of that it's not a huge deal i mean it doesn't make the machine performance um so but it is a nice touch to have the stickers on there 
So anyways, uh, that's the update for now. I'm currently working on the uh, control console, um, getting that mounted up. And then once that's done, then I, ha I can move the machine. And then I can put the power draw bar on and whatever else that I have for uh, stuff to put on. Hey, everybody. We are pretty much wrapping it up. Have the 770 Tormach assembled. I've tested a few things. I haven't machined nothing. I still got to add coolant and the coolant tank. And then go ahead and path pilot and start configuring all my tool bits and go ahead and getting them set. I ran into a couple little snags. Um, I ran, I uh, put in a help ticket. Um, so far, Tormach's been exceptional on trying to help someone out when it comes to uh, the machine. This is, I'm not new to CNC, but I am new to Path Pilot and the way uh, this system works. Um, a couple of my little nagels was, I was hearing this clicking sound about every 30 seconds. Um, I didn't pay no mind to it, but what led to submitting a ticket was on the touch screen I was trying to do a calibration on the touch portion of it so you can set the touch basically calibrate it to your touch and when I did that um, something either got corrupt in it or whatever and the touch screen wouldn't work at all you could see the mouse moving but it was hugging up against the one side and it couldn't do anything with it so I put in a ticket for it um, they responded back um with you know trying to delete a file the actual calibration file um and then recalibrating it i tried all that and i wasn't getting any success with it until i physically deleted it and then shut the machine off and then brought it back up then the software prompted me telling me that i needed to do a calibration for the uh, touch screen and it went through it automatically first thing and then saved it fresh and then after that it worked great the clicking sound was i guess from the factory where the machine is assembled the the wall plug was wired wrong so the neutral was on the hot side and the hot side was on the neutral and the clicking was the actual spindle vfd clicking on and off basically with a, some kind of error code on it it said open lc or something like that um and i traced it all out and figured out that that's what it was it was actually in the actual plug itself reconfigured that put it in the clicking went away so all in all it's been great um now it's on to getting the coolant in and we'll get this thing with some tools bits set in uh, the uh, tool tote table all right we got a few more things done up um been working on that i think i'm going to look for a smaller keyboard i didn't opt to buy the keyboard from tormach um, but now that i have all this i may look to get a smaller keyboard maybe one with a scratch mouse on it because you don't use very much being you got a touch screen so i don't think i need an actual mouse a scratch mouse would be great um, last night i went through and added an airline i actually happen to have this nozzle laying around and i have a whole bunch of quarter inch uh tubing from previous projects so that's in um, i added my coolant and tested it out last night it's all good right there and then we'll come around the back um, for those of you that maybe buy one want to consider space you need um, being it's going in a workshop you know a lot of times space is crucial um, but I wanted it you need you, and you got to have a distance in the back to be able to access the electronics chassis so I wanted room to be able to clean behind the machine um, so I did go out a little bit more of a distance um, I already had airline ran from my previous machines that I had so I had the airline here um, and I took and made a bracket to go across and then just use one of the screws off of the back of the uh, console or the enclosure to tie this on so I could run my airline and I need to get some uh, clamps to mount to the wall tie this down so it's not uh, a snag problem uh, other than that and then what I had when I ran the air hose inside I actually had some of these fittings and I had a Y and a quarter inch so I just cut that and ran an extra line up through and into the console or into the enclosure 
Um, so other than that, she is ready to go. Um, start doing some machining. Actually, what I gotta do is go through all my tools and put tool bits in them and start loading into the uh, tool offsets into the machine. I'm gonna be working on an ATC for this. Um, and I'm trying to determine if I wanna go ahead and get a fourth axis. Um, but more to come on my Tormach 770M. Um, now I get to put my shop back together being I was waiting for this machine so I moved everything out of the way because I was unsure at the time on how many pallets was coming and it ended up being three so anyways now I can start squaring things back away and get moving uh, please like and subscribe follow me on my uh, motorcycle projects and what other projects I decide to get into